Okay, welcome back to the regular day vlog for this week. Um, this week we're doing location scouting. I'm gonna shoot a music video, so we're gonna go look at a couple of spots and we're gonna start at the most generic location, which is Kennedy Park, and you've probably seen that in multiple people's videos. We'll go here, hopefully if the weather cooperates, I'll fly my drone and get an overhead shot. I just like to keep the stuff um, on the computer so I can look at it and visualize what I'm gonna do um, before I go out and do it. So we have this little pagoda over here, which we'll go inside of. It's raining a little bit right now, so hopefully that lets up. If not, the location scouting will continue another day. So this is an interesting spot. It just really is more of just like an interesting background. And I like to have spots that I can uh, incorporate the scene into more. So maybe this would work if I had some type of prop or some type of reason to be inside of a wide open area. And I'm sure I could come up with a reason to do that. So I'm gonna go get some shots of the rest of the place around here. Any other interesting angles I can get. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take off from here. I'm gonna fly out over there, get a shot over the entire place, and then come back. And hopefully without water damage. Okay, so we just finished at Kennedy Park. Um, I got a couple of drone shots, but it's too windy. So um, the drone's really not stable up there. It's really light. It's not gonna likely be my first go-to location, but it is always nice to have a spot in case you gotta go film something quickly or whatever. So yeah, um, next spot is gonna be in Tiverton. So I guess we'll see you over there. Here we are. We're at another location. I don't know exactly what to call this, but there's a bunch of no trespassing signs. So we're just gonna walk through and see if there's anything interesting in here or any angles. Possibly we can run in here, get some shots and get the fuck out of here before the police come. It's a nice industrial area. There's a car back there, so we probably don't wanna get caught by them. But just looking around real quick, it's a bunch of people dumped couches in here. So there is a bunch of people who got away with coming in here real quick, probably at night. But if we look this way, I don't know, it looks interesting, but it's not necessarily a setting for anything in particular. But we drove by and we saw this, so we figured might as well get uh, some video of it in case I need it for a future uh, project. You never expect to see shit like this in Fall River. Look at that. It's an untouched area of nature without any homeless people or needles on the ground. Very interesting probably avoid getting into that foundation of the house just asking for shit to go wrong definitely not worth flying the drone here but yeah that's it now off to Tiverton it's always difficult to find good stuff when your budget is zero we're here in Tiverton at Grinnell's Beach um, oh, there's like a little tent set up over here that might be cool for something so we're gonna go look at that first um, Maybe I'll fly the drone, but I don't know if I feel comfortable putting it over water. We'll see. See, I like this little spot here. It feels like a fake restaurant. I'm sure if we brought like a couple of cheap props from the Dollar Tree or something, we could probably make it work. Um, and it's also just aesthetically good looking. But let's move on to this little sandy part. I always feel weird about putting random strangers in the video, but they're in public, so I guess it's it's legal. It's just kind of a dick move. This would definitely be a good spot for a music video. You could just set up a little fire or something. And the last time I tried this, I didn't have any lights. So all the footage came out um, like dog shit. I would definitely probably go over to these rocks over here. Again, you wanna do that during the nighttime so there's less people here or the people that are here are just like you. It's always a struggle to just pick a place that's not based on just the background looking nice and you just have uh, no motivation to have the people in that location. Now the question is, do I try to fly the drone? What do you think, do I fly the drone here? 
it would be nice to have more hands. Maybe that's why most people make videos with other people involved in them. Okay, <laughs> helping a lot. <laughs> Okay, it says take off permitted. If it's permitted, then we're taking off. Take off. The low point has been updated. Please check it out the map. All right, that's it, we got a drone shot. And this is gonna be the last spot for today's location scout. I have other places in mind, but we'll keep those secret. Maybe you'll see them in the music videos I release. People already know about it, cause that's where we're going. This is cool. <laughs> Being fat and out of shape uh, really doesn't help that three flights of stairs coming up to here. Now, this is an obvious spot to film a music video, repping at the camera, just on top of this high perch. Um, I would likely shoot the same kind of thing, but mine would be narrative based. So, whatever I film here is gonna look different than everybody else's. This, is all, this would also be a cool place to like get a shot pointing down, like a long lens. I'd imagine a lot of people like to film themselves up here just because you're up tall and you're in an open space just feels like it's what you do. Like, this is just a good location in general for like nature. And nature is what you have to use if you don't want to spend any money on a budget. I think all I need is a leaf blower and a smoke machine and my entire film uh, production will be ready to go. I think uh, all these places that I visited today have a lot of potential for like narrative stuff but I don't know about music videos except for the beach. In the beach, I would just imagine you get like a little fire going and then you just have a few people around a fire and you can imagine what that would look like. You've probably seen it before. The key to all of this is making sure that I have good props because you might see other locations, but you probably won't see the same props. And that's it. Now I'm going home. I'm gonna have some steak and rice and uh, you'll see this video on Sunday.